trying to do two things today if I have time. First, I want to show you the, uh, the accessories that I put on this thing. And uh, I'm out to see if it rides any different so far. I don't think it does. It kind of seems the same. But uh, I'm just headed to a dirt road really close to my house. Um, and the other thing I'm going to try to do is I got to figure out my uh, video style here because helmet, the helmet cam stuff is fine, but it's not really what I like to watch. I want to see the bike doing stuff. And, um, so, but, you know, those shots are a big hassle because you got to either set up a tripod or use a drone and um, that sort of takes away from your ride. And um, I'm not positive I'm going to have the patience for that, but I'd like to try it because I really would like to make a video like that where you, where you get to see the bike a little bit. So that's what I'm trying to do today. And there's a bear up there. I don't know if you can see it. He's pretty big. It's funny, I saw two of them right here last time I came down this road. I don't know if you can see him or not. Hey bear! They must live right here. Somewhere. Damn, he's big. They're all over the city here. We have some, uh, the hangout. There he is. Holy crap. Hey, bear. What's up? Um, we have some that live near our house, too. They're always in the driveway or have uh, these service berry trees and they like to eat those. It's kind of cool. I've never heard of anyone getting hassled by them. All right, so the accessories. Um, I put on a USB port. There's two. And um, it was pretty easy. I, I had gotten that from We Bikes before I had the bike and it's supposed to come with a quick connector. But the US versions of this bike do not come with that. So all you have to do is um, is cut the hot wire. And inside here, there's uh, two black connectors that snap together. Just unsnap that, find the hot one. It's the one with the yellow and black wire. And I mean, you could do it a fancy way and splice it in there, but I just shoved it into that socket and forced the uh, plastic connector back and it works fine and uh, i don't think it's going to be a problem and then i need to clean this up a little bit but the um the ground wire i just put to the horn and that all worked fine my friend got one and he said it didn't fit in the uh in the opening here so definitely be aware of that when you're ordering one as far as accessories I got all this stuff from a place called CT125 Accessories. They are, uh, they only have a Facebook page. They, they uh, don't have a website. They don't take PayPal. And so it felt, uh, it was definitely like a leap of faith um, because they wanted the money wired. But their prices are so damn good that I just, uh, I went with it and it turned out to be great. I really like those guys and they did great. Um, their stuff is great and uh, the prices are crazy. Even the shipping. Um, there was a slow boat option for like 60 bucks and the uh, 10 day option was like 200 bucks. So it's way cheaper than, um, you know, we bikes or these other websites. So here's what I got. I got these risers. I remember these are like 20 bucks or something. Um, they were pretty easy to put on. And uh, I'll link it to the video I used. It was that guy from Australia. Um, he has a good video on how to put those on. It was pretty easy. Um, I would recommend just take off the, uh, take off the front tire. Just make it, it just made it easier for me. And it's easy to get the front tire um, 
the front wheel on and off. Um, got a headlamp cover. I also replaced this because if you watched the last video at Hurricane Creek, I took a nasty spill and smashed this all to hell. Um, so I've reinstalled that, put this on, put a front rack on. All this stuff is really solid. Um, it fit really well, like everything lined up. And uh, I really like this stuff. It's all, it's all really good, well made. Um, I put on some crash bars because I crash and uh, it would have been nice to have those on that Hurricane Creek um, ride. These were these were pretty hellish to put on. You have to take you have to take this whole thing off. Um, there's a flat plate here with just the uh, sort of the plastic black clips and that comes out and then this whole thing comes out. If you're doing both, definitely do these first and then that because uh, I did the opposite and had to take this all apart too to get these on. But um, it wasn't that bad. It's just uh, also be careful in here when you take this out. There's a there's like two metal um, brackets, I guess, and they're they're kind of flimsy when you take it out. So they bend easily and they bent for me a little bit. And then trying to get this all lined up when I put it back was was pretty hellish. So be careful of those. Just keep them sort of straight and don't let the weight of things bend them. Um, this was like a two second job to put on. And um, again, all this stuff is super solid. Um, the side rack is probably overkill for what I'm using it for, but it's pretty clever. It's pretty solid. Um, it went on pretty easily. And this bracket, I just made myself from stuff from Home Depot. And this I got, I think off Alibaba for like 20 bucks. Um, Headlamp protector, I mean a tail light protector, that was pretty easy. Um, if you're doing the same one, it's just these these bolts on the side and there's three underneath the fender. And, um, and that was it. I think that's all the accessories that I've got going on. I also wired a uh, pigtail from the battery. So I guess this is what, SAE? connector and the plan is this goes into my Apache case where I'm going to have a small inverter and uh, that's where I'll charge my drone batteries and laptop and whatever else needs charging. Um, I think that's about it and I'll show you the Apache case uh, as well. But if you're looking to buy accessories I would really check out these guys CT125 accessories. They seem totally trustworthy and uh, it came really well packaged, it came quickly and man, the prices are really good compared to what you're going to see on eBay or WeBikes or those, uh, those other places. So this is the Apache case and I, um, you know, I got most all of these ideas from YouTube somewhere. Um, I emailed that guy Sterling Norin. Um, to ask how he charged, kept his, his batteries charged. And um, I'm not sure what he uses, but I, I use this in, uh, I do some video work and I use this when I'm driving to charge my laptop and some batteries and stuff. And so the plan is to run the pigtail up through here somewhere, use some silicone to seal that off. Um, and then, so I'll cut this wire and that'll be here. And then I can plug this in and I can charge the laptop, um, laptop, drone battery, um, GoPro batteries, and my um, power brick or something else there, whatever. Um, and I can somehow attach that to there. And then this other guy who, uh, I'll link these videos below, but he bought these lunch boxes. I got the same exact kind that he had because they, uh, they fit well. He has a smaller case, but in these I can either, um, I'm going to put GoPro accessories or I can get rid of that and put my drone case in there. 
But that's it. So I guess the only thing I got to figure out is how to mount this to the bike, to the back rack. I mean, I guess, I know there's those threaded, um, so there's threaded holes in the rack. And I guess I could just do a washer and a bolt straight into that. But I really would like to have it so that I can um, take the whole case off because it will have my laptop in it and all this electronics. And so obviously it'd be good to not have to take all that stuff out to go wherever I'm going, tent or whatever. Um, but I'd also like to be able to lock it to the bike if I want to you know leave the bike for a few minutes somewhere yeah but that's it that's the plan for the electronics so that that stuff can be charging as i go so i guess it might be obvious um since i put on all these accessories that we are going to try to do the tap on these bikes i think that's the the final decision i just had a work trip out in california and uh, I rented, I had one day off and I rented a Himalayan for a day and took it all through the Santa Monica Mountains. It was freaking awesome. And I love that bike. And I think as an overall, like, if you can only have one bike, that'd be better. Um, but it's so heavy. And there's, you know, after riding it, I did take it on a little bit of dirt. And after riding it, there's no way I could have done Hurricane Creek on that bike. I would have gotten smashed. I would have gotten crushed. Um, it would have been a bad scene. So, uh, I think this is the bike for the tap. And we'll find out if that's wrong. Got a couple more things. A couple more accessories to show you. And I didn't have time to practice some video stuff. I'm gonna try to do a little bit this evening, maybe, if I can. Mostly I'm checking this, uh, this new audio solution I've got. I had a bunch of lav mics lying around from work, but they all had these locks, you know, these lock mechanisms on it, on them, the more sort of pro style stuff. And it doesn't, they don't work very well with the GoPro. So I ordered a lav mic with a short one foot cable from the place that I get all my stuff from. I think it's called MM Audio. And they make amazing stuff. They make super small lav mics. Um, they're not cheap though, but they're really good. Pretty lucky to live about five or ten minutes from the Blue Ridge Parkway. So I came down here for a little spin. I think I'm gonna go into Bent Creek and see if the uh, fire roads are open. Only slightly faster than the bikers, just a little bit. sworn there was a fire road up here somewhere that went down to Bent Creek, but I don't think I'm going to have time for it even if there is one. I hate to go back the way I came, but I might have to.
What freaking gear am I in? You know, I wish... I wish that the... Um, the indicator told you when you were in first instead of when you're in... Why is that gate closed? Instead of when you're in neutral. That would be more helpful. So there's cars on either side, and I'm going. Oh, hell. What am I fucking up now? I'm not used to that gas can. I feel like this is more of what the tap will mostly be. I might be wrong, but I feel like it's going to be more like this than it is Hurricane Creek. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong about that. I'm sure there's some shit parts. But I'm not sure that there's much that could be worse than Hurricane Creek. But I could be very wrong about that. All right, here's the other things that happened. The Gibby bag came and it fits pretty much perfect in there. Um, it might even be better without the rack, I don't know. But uh, it's a little, difficult to get into because of the seat and it's a little bit difficult to get the seat up to put gas in with it on but I think it'll work oh I painted the uh, I painted the exhaust shields I like that a lot better we'll see if that lasts and I got a spacer so I can put this on on this rack That's about it. If someone out there has any um, suggestions on how to make this seat comfortable, just by the looks of it, I thought this seat was gonna be super, super comfortable. It's so big, but it's just not. It's fine for like 45 minutes and after that, it's just not comfortable at all. And um, if I gotta do eight hours a day on the tat, that's not gonna be a good situation. I guess I'll get used to it though. What is that, Lowe's? I'm trying to figure out where I am. That didn't take long at all. I'm already back to Padawan. It's like the RV park over there. 